Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday the 15th of August 2014. This is a follow-up video to a video that I uploaded on the 13th of August uh, called Giant Shield Object in Stereo A HI2 uh, where I explained what is going on with this uh, shield-like uh, object that we see in the Stereo A HI2 images. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in this object. Um, I've identified that this is a lens flare which is caused by the planet Venus um, and we have seen it before on several occasions in uh, 2012, 2011, uh, 2009 and 2007 uh, at least and we see the, the same thing. Um, I'll put a link in the description area for this uh, first uh, video and you can watch that again. Um, but I see that um, Dark Skywatcher has uh, given his uh, take on what is actually causing this object which has been referred to as the wagon wheel and in this uh, image here uh, the giant shield on Sechi, one huge cluster FUCK by Dark Skywatcher 74 published on August 14th 2014 and as you can see uh, he has captioned that BP fraud watch struck down again. Well let's have a listen to uh, Dark Sky Watcher 74's explanation of what is causing this object and then we'll take another look. Looking at some of the imagery that I released yesterday showing you this little object right here in the center of the screen people are calling it the wagon wheel in the sky after the legend and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how accurate that is because some of you are telling me that I'm crazy and uh, that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to go ahead and do some movie magic for you and show you what you don't really get to see and what's being taken out of the imagery. Let's go ahead and uh, let's play this. I pointed out before we could see the arm extending out. There's two nodes here where it connects and we can see those in some of the imagery. Now we have the sun over here blasting Venus. We're getting the glare from the sun coming in, hitting the corrector plate, which is why we see the glare right in this area. Now, we have Venus and everyone's saying it's not moving, but actually Venus is moving up, the image is moving down, uh, that little dot, they're moving synchronously. So if I go ahead and I superimpose the image of the corrector plate on here, Now we're going to go ahead and shrink it down and put it in place. You can see right there. Now we have our little edge because the sun is shooting the light from here. We're hitting the edge of the corrector plate. We get the glare. There's nothing. More well, here's the problem uh, that this uh, corrector plate, as Dark Sky Watcher 74. Has uh, shown here does not exist. He's actually introduced something uh, in his movie magic, as he put it, that doesn't actually exist. Um, now I've done some research into uh, what uh, this part here is. Now we have to remember that in in the HI2 um, camera, we're not looking directly at the sun, so there is no need for an occulter plate, uh, which would be this part here. Um, over anything because there is nothing there to, to block out. So what is this arm for? Because normally there is an arm that comes out from one edge, um, depending whether we're looking at the stereo A or stereo B, it'll be coming from the left or the right to support the occulter plate. But in this case there is no occulter plate, so what is the shape that we see on the left hand side? Okay, well let's take a look. Um, this is a PDF which is online and I'll, I'll put the link in the description area so that you can read it for yourself. This is about the design of the Stereo A and Stereo B instruments. And as you can see here, <coughs> it says that the HI instruments are designed to view the Sun-Earth line and in the early days of the mission, with the spacecraft closest to the Earth, the intensities of the Earth and Moon in the HI2 instrument will be so large that they would saturate large sections of the CCD. That's the image sensor. 
In order to prevent this, a mask has been designed for the HI2 instrument that will block light from the Earth and Moon until the spacecraft have moved sufficiently far from the Earth that the intensities of the planet will be no greater than that of Venus. And if I scroll down, we can see uh, there are more details here, but we can see this image. So this will be for the Stereo uh, B um, instrument. And we can see the, um, this is called the Earth Occulter. Okay, it's not an arm to support a disk. It was simply there for the early days of the mission to block out the Earth and the Moon until the stereo spacecraft was sufficiently away from the Earth so that the, um, the glare from the Earth would not be a problem. And it even gives us the dimensions of the uh, Earth occulter, the shape and so on. And uh, if we go to the next PDF, uh, it says here uh, in this one what to expect from an HI image, and we've got some details there. And it says here, the now redundant Earth occulter plate covers a rhombic region of the opposite side of the field of view. Okay. Now, if we go to the uh, screenshots here, here's another shot that shows the um, this Earth occulter. Now, let me go on online, and if we search for Earth occulter and stereo, you can find all of the links that uh, I've been looking at which give us all of these details. So going back to Dark Skywatch's um, video where he's um, actually been dissing uh, BP Earthwatch here as BP Fraudwatch struck down again, well it seems Dark Skywatcher that um, you failed again. You've got it completely wrong. The, um, this disk that, that you're showing in, in your video does not exist and the uh, the wagon wheel or the shield that we're seeing is exactly what I said it was. It is a lens flare caused by Venus. And uh, as I say, I'll put the link to my first video in the description area and, and people can check that out if they haven't seen it already. But we've seen this before in 2012, uh, 2011, 2009, 2007. And yes, the object does move, and the, the spot here will be lower down or higher up depending on Venus's relative position uh, up or down in the image. So there it is. It is a lens flare. It is not caused by a, uh, a coulter plate or anything like that. It's exactly what I said it was. It's a lens flare. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X, Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.